Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your August 28th through the September 3rd uh, weekly reading. Whatever comes up, comes up. I tend to do love readings, but we'll see what comes up. So here we have a fast moving energy, something that's coming pretty quickly at the beginning of the week. But here, this is your independence. This is you taking care of yourself. So maybe it has to do with finances or something like that, because this is where you are taking care of yourself quite well. All right. Um, the next card is the Page of Pentacles. This is about broadening your horizons. Um, working on your foundation i mean which you've definitely been doing i think you must be feeling more stable and secure at this point perhaps his m money is coming in at a steady rate you know so you're feeling comfortable all right it's not a, a big struggle right now not saying that you're rich or that you know you have a lot of money but i think that you probably have enough to survive okay and you're feeling good about it um here you're still trapped in a situation i'm not sure what that is quite yet but this is you feeling like you're trapped. And this has something to do with nostalgia, something from the past, okay? So something from the past might make you, make you uh, feel like you are trapped. Perhaps you've been moping in the past. Maybe that's what's happening quick. Perhaps you, you know, either you're going through a period of feeling like things aren't turning out the way you wanted or if that's over, you know, because that could be the case because it looks like you feel like it feels like think something didn't turn out the way that you wanted. Um, but I think you're starting to heal from that. You're starting to heal from that. But I can see that you're definitely still trapped there. So there's something that is holding you back for sure. Something is holding you back that has to do with something that you are, that's still eating away at you, okay? Something is eating away at you, even though you're feeling financially, I mean, okay, something is eating away at your um, emotions, all right? And, but, you know, you, there, here's the opportunity to heal, okay? So you have the opportunity to heal. This right here is a new discovery of some sort, an exciting new discovery. This is about your awareness, okay? So per you're probably aware that you're trapped, you know? You're aware that you're trapped, and um, I think that you have something in mind for the future, and it's very exciting. Um, it could be another person. I have a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. I have a Gemini, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo again, and... Um, Aquarius. I think that, as, you know, it's funny because I think that maybe sometimes you feel like you're a victim and that you can't ask for help, you know, and I think that you can ask for help. So just keep that in mind. Um, I see that your life is starting to change, and I think that's been going on for a while. Now, this is the week of 28th through the 3rd. And I think it's because of your persistence, all right? I think um, financially, whereas you were struggling more, I think things are starting to stabilize, even if just a little bit, because this is a, there's a lot of financial aspects here. But you do have these uh, feelings, these emotions, too, that aren't just money-based or finance-based. They're, they're heart-based. So I think... Um, I don't know. There's about to be some kind of breakthrough. 
all right, is about to become some kind of breakthrough that you kind of already know about. It's like, because this is where your intuition is right on about something. So whatever you think this is, that's probably what it is. Don't second guess your thought, whatever you think this is. Okay, because this is awareness and this right here, this is um, high intuition, some kind of secret that's going to be revealed that really wasn't a secret because you already knew. Okay, but it's not, it doesn't have to be a negative secret. It's just something that you saw coming, kind of like a deja vu kind of thing. You know, it's like you knew this was going to happen. And you're going to have some kind of breakthrough that you've been waiting for. Okay? And I think that... You also might have um, a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in your life at this time. Um, and that may be who you're, who you were attached to, um, through your emotions, you know, that may be why you're feeling stuck in a situation. I'm not sure. Um, you definitely have a lot of earth energy here. So this right here is um, planting the seeds, you know. This is a visionary who has invested his time in something, and the seeds were planted, and now growth is starting to, to come, all right? So whatever it is that you've been crying over and moping over, I think it's financial. You know, I think it's emotionally, but I think it's financial as well, okay? Whatever you've been so worried about, you know, I think that time, I think that you've taken a very practical approach in that... You've been very responsible, and you've been working up to get here. So this is more of a financial reading. But there's a lot. There's heart in this reading, too. So it's interesting. Like this. This is a feeling of loss, feeling of um, maybe it's a loss of passion for something. But right below that is the world card. This, when this card comes out, it means that you've learned something. You're at a major new phase in your life. Uh, something that's long term, okay? It, look, it looks to me like some phase in your life has just ended and you have done something. You have done something. Planted some seeds. You've taken a practical approach. You know, and your life is starting. The financial matters. The financial struggles, struggles is, are starting to, you know, calm down. All right? Now there is going to be, there is a feeling of loss right here. Now this is a, um, this is somebody's, this is a loss of control or a loss of power, you know, but this is also an Aries person. So there's some kind, this week is the 28th through September 3rd, perhaps there's some kind of, of loss, um, heartache. Maybe they hurt you. I don't know. Um, this right here is uh, a gathering, or it's a commitment of some sort, or it's something, you know, that has to. This has to do with the past. Okay, this is something from the past that is keeping you stuck, and you must know what this is. But you have all the resources to free yourself. Something from your childhood is keeping you stuck. Hmm. This right here is about making a choice, okay? This is a fork in the road where you, ha you decide where you're going to focus your energy. Okay, you're going to focus your energy on past heartache or you're going to focus your energy on a happy future because this is a happy future. So that's what this is. This is the fork in the road. You're going to focus it over here where there's previous hurt or are you going to focus it over here where there's happiness and, and content and commitment and just togetherness. Okay, so that's, that's a question for you. Where are you going to focus your energy? This right here is an Aries 
uh, Leo or Sagittarius. So this is probably you right down here at the end of the reading, which is perfect. And this is totally all about you. You've got some heartache in there. Right now, I think that financially you're feeling okay. Not great, but okay. All right. But I think you still have some previous heartache. Could be over another person that um, you are focusing on. That you need to... Um, it's going to take discipline, willpower, you know, you know, to get get through it, but you can. So, Sagittarius, that's what I have for you. That was your reading. I think it's mostly about finances um, and a little bit of, of heart pressure that you're that you're working on that you still need to work on. And you need to worry where you're going to focus your energy. You need to look at the future. Or you're going to focus it on the past. The past hurt. And you must be going through some hurt during the middle of this week. Okay? So towards the middle of the week, you might feel some, you know, some hurt over something. I'm not sure what. It might be over somebody who's controlling you know, somebody's tried to control you or, or something, or somebody hurt you. Anyway, it's all up to you, okay? I see that you've started a new phase in your life, you know? It's right in the middle. It's right in the middle. Right in the middle of this world card. So, you know... I think you're on the right track, that's for darn sure. This is just another stepping stone. Good luck.